Hello, first grade friends. Today is lesson 74 of phonics. We are going to jump right in with our new skill. Echo these words and listen for the sound that is the same in each word. Queen, quack, squint. What sound do you hear that's the same in queen, quack, Squint. Qu. Do you hear the qu sound? Qu. Qu. Let's look at these letters on my, or the, sorry, the words on my board and see what letters are making the qu sound. Queen, quack, squint. What might be making the qu sound? Q and U, very good, right. Q, U make the qu sound. Does Q, U look like it would say qu? No. So what is it called when we have two letters coming together to make an unexpected sound? A combination, right. And how do we code combinations? With an arc underneath. So let's put an arc underneath combination QU. What other codings do we need on this word? We have digraph EE. -E. Put a make crown above the first E. Cross out the second E. This word was queen. Very good. All right, let's move on to the next word. Combination QU. Brevi above the A. And digraph CK. The C is crossed out. This word was quack, quack. And in our last word, we have combination Q-U and a brevi above the I. This word is squint, squint. So we are going to practice writing Q's today. So we have capital Q. You need to make an big O and do your line. Big O, put your line. Big O, put your line. And then for lowercase Q, it looks like you're going to make a G. Then you come backwards with your tail. backwards with your tail, touching the middle line. We will get some more practice drawing and writing cues, both capital and lowercase. Before we get to that, we are going to practice um, more coding. So I'm going to write two more phrases to code. Quitting her chores is the first phrase. And the second phrase is tummy pain. Have you ever had tummy pain? It's not fun, is it? All right, let's look at quitting her chores. So we have suffix ing to put in a box. Do you see combination Q-U? There is a consonant after the vowel before the suffix, so it needs a brevi. Quitting, her has combination E-R. Chores has digraph C-H. You might notice that there is combination O-R, but listen to it, chores. There actually is O consonant E, chores, and suffix S, chores. Now let's look at tummy pain, okay? Tummy pain has a vowel, consonant, consonant, vowel pattern. It's a two-syllable word. This Y is acting like a vowel, so we put a dot above it. The U needs a brevi. Tummy. And then pain has digraph AI, 
The A is making a long sound. The I needs crossed out. Tummy pain. Now, before we get started on our worksheet, I do have a picture card for combination QU. Let's see if you can guess it. This is a kind of cover for your bed. It is made of small pieces of cloth sewn together to make a design. Do you know what it is? It's a quilt. When you see this card, say quilt. Qu. The keyword quilt helps us remember the qu sound because quilt starts with qu. All right, join me for your worksheet today.